Hey there guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. So do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And ring the bell button so that you will be updated to my next series of vlogs. So now, we will be having our next topic which is very important and crucial at the same time when it comes to Visual Basic Application. This is all about the coding. Coding are very important when it comes to run your PowerPoint presentation with BBA. So all you have to do is to look, listen, and stop for a while, and then let's apply and improve the level of our PowerPoint presentation in making Interactive Strategic Instructional Material or ISIM. Thank you guys! Watch this, okay? So, welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. I will teach you one of the most important things in making your ISIM. To make this PowerPoint presentation become more interactive with the use of these codes. So here are the sample codes for VBA or Visual Basic Applications in PowerPoint presentations. Are you ready to listen? Okay, and since you are ready, let's start with these samples. Okay. For an instance, for question number one, we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay, so if we answer true, then there's a prompt that says you are correct. And then, if we choose false, sorry, try again. So that is an example of coding in Visual Basic Application. While in question number two, we have what is the basic unit of life or the basic unit of life. Click and type your answer here. This is what we call the command button. And when you click it, then there's a prompt that says note capitalize all the letters in entering your answer. So the basic unit of life is cell. So let's check. Okay, you are correct. That is also a sample of coding. In question number three, group of cells and then our answer is tissue so this is what you call the text box the text box command button command button so using the command button we are able to check if our answer in the text box is correct or not so let's check just click it and then you are correct meaning to say this command box will check your answer in the text box whatever you input there okay and then group of tissues in number four let's check our answer okay you nailed it very good and so as you can see we have another text box here text box number three and text box number four so this text box you can enable the drag and drop option so just go to the properties okay the properties is located at the developer tab besides the control okay so uh, when we highlight this one like this and then hold the left click and then we drag it to this text box and then drop okay and also this one highlight left click hold drag and then drop so just look for drag behavior in the properties of text box so that you can drag and drop the answer or whatever text that you put inside the text box such as that one okay so i will teach you the sample codings that i used in this type of quiz are you ready okay this lend me your ears so coding number one next slide command so when you are going to make a next slide command uh, this is the coding so you can now see the private sub label one click open and close parentheses so that is given already when you double click the label okay and then you just type active presentation that slideshow window that view that next meaning to say the label button when you click it it will go to the next slide or 
you can modify it it will jump into slide number three slide number four number five whatever you want it okay just change the last part okay then end sub so the upper and the last part are already given when you double click it and the coding part or the vba window will show up okay next we have the message box prompt so the one that prompt okay that pop out that says you will get it right sorry try again just type message box in the quotation mark you got it right then close it with another special character such as the quotation mark as easy as that okay then coding number three so this is a logical one so remember that this private sub command button number one click open close parenthesis and the end sub are always given when you double click it when the VBA pop out okay the window pop out so we have here you need to type dim i as a stream i means is what you are going to input the integer something like that okay input box so this is the one that we have an example in the cell okay the basic structural unit of life or the basic unit of life you see there's a prompt there right that note capitalize all the letters in entering your answer and another quotation mark to close it and then close it with the parenthesis if i is the answer this is the answer okay so this is the answer okay this is the answer whatever answer it is just write it down then message box you are correct else if not correct message box sorry wrong answer then you should end the if the logical code okay because you started with if here so you need to end the next logical code so again this part is given this part is given this is for to check the text box using the command button okay so dim i as a string i is equal to text box one so it can be text box one text box two text box three and so on and so forth if i okay the answer archipelago then the message box you are correct okay else if it is wrong message box sorry wrong answer again and your if your logical code then ends up so those are the four codings or those are some codings that uh, you need to practice as much as possible okay and i will run down to you once again so here are the sample codes next slide command message box prompt logical code and another logical code enjoy and be happy to use visual basic application do not fear them but challenge with them thank you so much for listening these are the sample codes for vba do not forget to like share and subscribe